بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وکفاء والصلاة والسلام علی رسول اللہ اما بعد فرسٹ آف آل آفٹر ویٹر صلاة دی مسنجا واللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایوز تو ریسائٹ ون کلمہ تری ٹائمز سور از ویٹر صلاة فینشیز دین وی شود ریسائٹ فالوینگ دی حدیث آف رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم Recite after me, Subhan al-Malik al-Quddus, Subhan al-Malik al-Quddus. So you need it three times. This third time, you stretch the Quddus word. Subhan al-Malik al-Quddus. Inshallah, recite it every day after Witr Salat. Even after Ramadan as well, whenever you pray Witr Salat, after that, three times, the third time, you just stretch the Quddus word slightly. The 16th juice of the quran Kareem, it continues with Surat Kahf. Surat Kahf is a very important Surat because from the narrations of Ahadith, we learn that every Friday, we should recite Surat Kahf. If we recite Surat Kahf, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates a nur and a light around us and that serves as protection. And in other narrations it mentions that from the heavens till where we are on the earth, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala creates a light. So this is why we should recite Surah Kahf as soon as it is Friday. When the Maghrib Adhan was called today, then Friday started and it will last until tomorrow Maghrib Adhan. Surat Kahf, we decide, but the most benefit you will uh, acquire is if you actually understood what you were reciting. Surat Kahf, it has mentioned about different things, different ni'mats of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala that can become a test for us. It can become a challenge for us. The first is the ni'mat of Iman, the ni'mat of Islam. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has made us Muslims and mu'mins, we believe in Allah, but this Iman can become a test for us sometimes. Sometimes do we stay steadfast upon our Iman or do we give in to the forces? So Allah tabarak wa ta'ala mentions the story of the seven sleepers of the cave, ashab kahf that they believed in one Allah, but the tyrant ruler of the time, he compelled them to believe in him, and then he gave them some time to ponder and think about it. So this was the test of Iman, and every day we are tested with our Iman. Does, do we come for Salat? Do we not come for Salat? Do we fast? Do we not fast? It's a test of our Iman, our faith. The second is the test of wealth. Allah has given all of us, alhamdulillah, some more than others, but everybody has some kind of wealth. Mal. Mal is a test from Allah. Do we pay our zakat? Do we not pay our zakat? Do we support and help the poor? Do we spend it on ourselves? Many people are misers, bakhil. They need to spend, but they don't spend. So this is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wealth, mal. And Allah mentions the story of the two people who owned gardens, etc. The world, the, the worldly life, the, the luxuries of this world, the things we can enjoy in this world, that is also a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, وَضْرِبْ لَهُمْ مَثَلَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنِيَا كَمَا إِنْ أَنزَلْنَا etc. till end. Also, knowledge is a test from Allah. Some people are more knowledgeable than others, but everybody has some level of knowledge. So uh, having knowledge, sometimes a person becomes arrogant. A person, he boasts with his knowledge. I know this, I know that, I know more than him. He knows nothing. Uh, I, I have more knowledge than him. So Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala mentions the story of Musa alayhi salam and Khidr. That once Musa alayhi salam was amongst the Banu Israel, and somebody asked that, Oh Musa, who is the most knowledgeable person? 
And Musa alayhi salam, he answered correctly because he was the Prophet of Allah and the Prophet of Allah will be the most knowledgeable person. He said, I am the most knowledgeable person. So Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he did not like this answer. He said that there is somebody else that I have created who has more knowledge. And that was Khidr alayhi salam. So Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he gave Musa alayhi salam instructions of how to find Khidr alayhi salam etc etc long story there in surah kahf so this is the test of knowledge that knowledge should make you humble if knowledge does not make you humble then that's not true knowledge that's the knowledge of the shaitan then where the aql and the intellect is telling you that you are a'lamun nas you are the most knowledgeable of people who can tell you to do things etc you know everyone makes mistake they say even an elephant trips an elephant is a huge animal elephant is a powerful animal it has big legs huge legs but they say even an elephant can trip doesn't matter how knowledgeable you are you are you you can make mistake you're a human being if you if you don't make mistake in your life then you're not a human human beings are prone to making mistakes and the last test is the ni'mat of power people abuse power people when they have power they do things which they shouldn't they abuse their power by doing many things by punishing wrong people etc so allah tabarak wa ta'ala mentions the story of dhul qarnain dhul qarnain he had power and allah tabarak wa ta'ala he mentioned this story to, to 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 show that he used his power to the benefit of the people he benefited the people with the power and the authority that he was given he did not abuse his power he did not abuse his authority. So this is Surah Kahf. And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala keep us steadfast upon his deen. May Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala make the remaining days of Ramadan easy for us. May Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala accept all of our fasts. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alam.